Hi there, and welcome to this devotion. I spent last weekend with some God-fearing men in a ministry, it's part of the Kairos Prison Ministry, and we spent the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in Westville Prison. And in case you're wondering, we were invited in and <laughs> we were released on Sunday again, so it's not as if we were captive. And we had the opportunity to spend some time with a small group of guys, you know, two dozen or so. And there were three things over the weekend that struck me about these, this particular group of men. Firstly, I was, I was most surprised to hear that they'd all heard about Jesus. They'd all heard about the Bible and the church. Every single one of them had heard about Jesus. Yet not all of them believed. And that is quite frightening because... Even in Acts chapter 10, we read of these Gentiles that have heard about Jesus and they understood all the miracles and they understood everything, but they didn't believe in him. If you've heard about Jesus but still need to believe that Jesus is the son of our loving God, please get to your local church and speak to the person in charge of that church and it could have eternal consequences on your life. The second thing that struck me this time was that these guys, most of them, by far most of them, deeply regretted their crime. Um, I, was, I was struck by the, 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 the depth of the regret that they had. But what struck me most was that they were stuck there. They seemed to be drowning in that regret and, and couldn't move on from there. The danger of staying in regret is that you, you get stuck into this loop, you know, um, doing it again and regretting again, doing the wrong thing again and again and regretting again and again. And, it, and it's almost as if it is perpetual. And that is where this amazing group of men came in, where they just pointed to the beauty of our loving God and showed the, these, 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 these criminals, these, these struggling men of how to move out of the darkness of regret. How to break that cycle of, of you know, um, continuously doing the wrong thing and then continuously regretting again and again. And moving into this light of forgiveness offered by our God of mercy and grace. Seeing these men realizing how to break that, that, those shackles of regret is, is something I cannot fully describe. I, I don't have the words to explain the profound experience of knowing how to move on from regret. I hope that you're not stuck in this in this darkness of regret. I hope that you have been told of the love and the forgiveness and the grace through the belief in Jesus. If you've not moved on from regret, let me tell you that the darkness can be left behind. That the cycle of doing and regretting, of doing and regretting, doing and regretting can be broken. I've seen it broken. Lastly, what really struck me was, was how these men move from the awareness of how their crime has affected and the, incon and the, and the incarnation had, incarceration has, has affected their lives and how they've moved on from that to see how their activities, their criminal activities, has affected other people. It is really profound to see how, how they've moved on from seeing how their crime has affected their lives to see how their crime has affected the lives of their mothers, of their children, and this, this deep hurt that they've caused. It's really amazing to see how the Spirit of God has moved their focus from themselves to people around them, to people around them, the, the ones they love, their friends, even in some cases to the people that they perpetrated their crimes against. And this happens to us also. As, as we see and believe more of the love of God, we, we actually get to see the hurting people around us. That's always been there, but now, it is as if we are saying, once I was blind, but now I see. And I actually get to see the hurt in people around us. I hope that you get to the space where your focus expands from self to others, and I hope that you do something about seeing. We were blessed that weekend by the Spirit of God being present in a prison. Thank you to all of you that contributed towards the weekend. 
be it through prayer, be it through baking cookies, or, or be it through financial support. Thank you. You were part of the ministry. You were part of what happened that weekend. May the Lord bless you and take good care of you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Till we meet again. God bless.